This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 17 of my Mac Pro series. This episode is the beginning of a short two part series in this series, which will be showing you how to upgrade your 1, 1 Mac Pro to a 2, 1 with both an EFI update and SMC update. To briefly explain what EFI and SMC is, EFI is the firmware your board runs on. If you have upgraded to a 8-core system, aka two quad-core CPUs, you will want to update to the 2,1 firmware. This isn't really needed for 1,1 if you still have the 2 do-core setup, which would be the quad-core setup. But this is recommended for upgraded 1,1s with the 8-core because first off, if you see here, it says processor unknown. That is just one of the two problems with the older EFI. The other problem is the system will be unstable on occasions. The EFI update will actually fix most of the stability issues, if not all of them. Also, with an EFI update, even though it's not really known because it hasn't been tested in a 1,1 flashed Mac Pro, I suspect that if you want to go to 64 gigabytes worth of RAM, you need to upgrade to the 2,1 EFI. And I'd also recommend having the 8-core upgrade before you attempt that. Anyway, the other upgrade we will be doing in this series is the SMC upgrade. The SMC is basically um, just a fan curve control and a few other things. And the SMC is a lot more difficult to upgrade, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Still, I will be showing you that in the next video. So let's begin with the EFI update. I have downgraded my Mac Pro back to 1,1 EFI and SMC specs. And as you can tell, as earlier stated, it says that the processor is unknown. When this EFI is upgraded, it will update the stability and also the CPU microcode and then the system will know what processors are actually in it. Before we begin I would like to state that if you have a new GPU in your Mac Pro that isn't supported by Lion I'd suggest you remove that first otherwise it will not boot into Lion. We will be using Lion for one simple reason the EFI updater does not like El Capitan, and even though I've read it works with other newer OS X, El Capitan it really doesn't work with, although there's apparently a workaround, I will not be covering that. I would just recommend using a natively supported OS like Lion. So, as we continue, I'd recommend you putting your original graphics card back into the Mac Pro and then verifying that your boot disk is your Lion disk. We click on Lion and then we can restart it. Welcome back to my Lion desktop. Before we continue further, we will need to download the Mac Pro EFI updater tool and we will also need internet connection to our Mac Pro in Lion. This is because the Mac Pro updater tool uses the internet to download certain files. If you do not have working internet when you're in Lion, like if you've upgraded to an unsupported Wi-Fi chip, you will either need a Wi-Fi dongle or plug it directly into Ethernet or do what I do and use a modified Airport Express. So we will need to go to a website to download this and I will continue the video in one sec. We will need to go to the Netcas forum to this address right here which I will include in the description below and we will need to download the Mac Pro 2006 to 2007 firmware tool zip 
save the file, and then we will want to unzip it. But I already have it downloaded, so we'll skip that and go to the tool itself. We open it up and you get this window. We click upgrade to 2007 firmware, type in our password, and it starts making a RAM disk and setting everything up for the flash. Once that is finished, it will give you this message which briefly stated says to restart the computer and hold the uh, power button in until it flashes really quickly or beeps. We click OK. Then we reboot the computer. I'd recommend shutting it down and then starting from a cold boot. We shut it down. Once it's shut down, we need to hold in the power button. Until it rapidly flashes, let go of it. It will beep. Then the screen will pop up with a loading screen and the drives will eject themselves. There's the loading screen and here come the drives. This is how we know it's flashing. Once the loading screen is complete it will reboot back into the OS. Once the system is booted up you will notice that it now identifies the processors. Okay, processor. The reason why it's only identifying one processor is because you have to restart the computer somewhere between one and three times for it to clear everything up. So I will reboot the computer and you'll see that both processors will be shown. I have rebooted and as you can now see it identifies both processors correctly and we are all set. Congratulations, you have updated your 1,1 EFI to a 2,1 EFI. In the next episode, we will be covering how to update our SMC version from this one right here to the 2,1 version. Anyway, thank you for watching, and this has been a Rutke Mods video.